Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I thought I'd do a short skit to you today on what happens when we sign a demon contract. Okay, so you're going to play both parts, short and sweet. Okay, now I'm the petitioner right now. Okay, then after that I'll be the demon and vice versa. Sir, I'd like to make a lot of money right away. I'd like to be rich, richer than my wildest dreams. Can you do that? Mr. Demon, I can work with that. Just sign on the dotted line right here, and he hands him a contract. Say, Mr. Demon, what's this blank line down here at the bottom? Oh, we'll get to that a little later on. One day later, right? A check arrives in the mail. He's won the lottery for a billion dollars. Wow! The next day, he's hit by a truck. And instantly killed. So, now here he is on the astral plane. Say, Mr. Demon, I didn't see that in the contract. That's true. I left that part out. What about that blank part there at the bottom of the contract? Oh yeah, I filled that in later. Could I take a look at that contract? Sure. Two thousand years in the hell worlds. So, what's that going to be like? Come on down and I'll show you. <laughs> so, so, the purpose of the skit is like this. When we do a buy-in to the demon realm, you can search it online. There's, there's plenty of data on that and what, what, what it takes to buy into the demon realm. All we have to do is take one step in that direction and we're confronted with Mr. D, or Mr. S as some say, or Mr. B, Beelzebub as others say, right? Mr. Ball, whoever. And so, the first thing they ask is, what do you really want, right? And what they don't tell you is what's going to happen next, right? So, go ahead and ask what's going to happen next, even if you've already bought in and signed on the dotted line and they're enjoying whatever it was, you know. Go ahead and ask now what the result is, and so that you'll know what to expect in the future. Because the way the demon world works is it gets an initial buy-in, and then every step we take in life, we determine whether we want to continue like that or whether we want to turn to Christ and the angelic realm and God and our own highest nature. So, we always have that opportunity. Even if we, even if we didn't read the fine print and even if we left part of the contract for somebody else to fill in. <laughs> well, so.